48 years ago, the very first cell phone was created. Look how far technology has advanced since then. Now our cell phones are legit mini computers and cameras and game devices. It's insane. And scientists are getting a little out of hand. From robot companions to cloning, let's see what's in the works for the future. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan. Today we're looking at the top 10 terrifying technologies that scientists are trying to make. Uh, before we begin, you know the drill, smash that like button, comment something down below because I love reading your comments and obviously subscribe to our channel. Now, let's get on with the video. Starting off this countdown, we have cryonics. I'm sure you all have heard of this because there's that urban legend out there that Walt Disney froze his head so that later on he could be revived. Well, companies are currently working on this so that when you do die, you can be brought back to life several years later. As of now, the technology to do so is not perfect yet. Plus, the technology to unfreeze people doesn't exist yet. They're taking it one step at a time. First, they are figuring out how to freeze people without killing them or damaging them, and then they will worry about the whole bringing back to life part later on. I'm sorry, but this is creepy. Like the whole bringing people back from the dead should be illegal. Plus, who wants to be immortal anyways? I always wanted to be, but you know, the state of the world is crumbling, so maybe not. In our ninth spot today, we have the robot caregiver. By 2030, it's said that there will be a huge decline in personal support workers and professional caregivers in the US. So a team of Irish scientists are trying to solve this problem by creating robots to work in senior homes. The robot would roam the hallways and people can communicate with it by saying, hey, and then its name. So it's kind of like how you say, hey Alexa, to activate Amazon's home assistant. Also, did I trigger your Alexa? Let me know in the comments below. The robot then can help with whatever the person needs help with. Not only that, but it has an LED screen face so it can show you emotions. They tested this out in Knollwood Senior's home with a robot named Stevie, just to see you know, how the seniors would react to it. The next step is to get Stevie to do more complex commands, like take food door to door, or to help seniors when they're in distress. Now you might be like, oh, that's great, but hello, this is one step closer to robots replacing humans altogether. I mean, you don't have to pay robots. This also means that we're one step closer to a whole robot takeover. No, thank you. In our eighth spot, we have the nanobots. Scientists are currently working on nanobots that could be injected into our bodies to help us. They believe that these tiny bots ranging from 0.1 to 10 micrometers could potentially seek out and destroy cancerous cells in our body. Or at least that's what they're hoping that they can do. Not only that, they said that they could be used to deliver medication to parts in our body or can be used to monitor our bodies. In fact, futurists predict that within the next 10 years, our blood will be filled with these tiny little bots. Some even say that these bots will be used to transmit your thoughts into a wireless cloud. I don't know how the hell that would work. Like, we have our own personal iCloud from our brain, so we need to worry about people literally hacking into our brain as well? No thanks. Not only that, but these bots will also be used to monitor air quality and weather, so so on. Meaning, these bots will be everywhere. We won't be able to see them, but they'll be in our food, water, bodies, urine, feces, everywhere. Would you trust millions of tiny small robots in your body? Personally, I'm not a fan, because whoever controls the nanobots controls everything. That just doesn't sit well with me. In our seventh spot, we have the voices in your head. Nowadays, there are ads everywhere. You look up vacuum cleaners once, and then all of a sudden for weeks, your ads on Facebook and Instagram are all related to damn vacuum cleaners. Well, companies are now taking it a step further. In the works are ads playing in grocery stores. A company called Holosonics has invented something called the Audio Spotlight System. Basically, they are tiny speakers that can be used for in-store advertising. But you have to be standing in the right place to hear it. It's not like a bunch of ads are playing all at once through the grocery store PA system. So as you're standing looking at a certain product, it will register that someone is there and a voice will begin to tell you all the reasons why you should buy this product. That sounds an awful lot like mind control to me. No thanks. Moving on, number six, we have the killer drones. So right now you can go out and buy a small drone that can fly around and take pictures or videos, which is fine as long as you know how to fly it and you don't 
you know, crash it into people. But in the future, we are going to have to worry about killer drones. It's believed that more than 80,000 surveillance drones and almost 2,000 attack drones will be purchased around the world in the next 10 years. These drones will of course be far more advanced than the ones that we currently have. But imagine that, you get in an argument with your neighbor, and next thing you know, you hear this loud buzzing sound outside of your house. You go and check, and there's a massive thing hovering in the air with an AK just attacking you. Before you can run back inside, it's firing shots and bam, you're dead. Now, that was a little dramatic, but some scientists are against this and are like, why are people creating more devices and weapons that literally will do no good and only cause harm? We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the TV that watches you. This is a TV that will watch your every move. It will record the sounds you make and physical, emotional, and facial reactions to whatever it is that you're watching. It then stores this in this creepy little database and uses it to create ads that are geared specifically towards you. Again, no thank you, that's terrifying. Like you won't have any privacy anymore. This has gone way too far. Just like let us watch TV in peace. In our fourth spot, we have the cloning. Over the years, scientists have been working on cloning. I mean, they have successfully managed to clone animals. The next stop is cloning humans. In the 90s, scientists created this sheep named Dolly all from cloning. It did take them 277 tries before Dolly was born, but they still managed to successfully do it. The only reason why scientists aren't cloning humans is because of the ethics behind it. Although some scientists in India claim that a woman did give birth to a baby through cloning. We just don't know if that's true or not. Anyways, it's believed that in the future scientists will perfect human cloning. I mean, I've seen Black Mirror, okay? I know how all of this goes down. So let's just stop right there before we have little evil minions of ourselves running around causing havoc. In our third spot, we have the social credit system. This one is literally a Black Mirror episode. Basically, scientists are working on creating a system that records your social status. They will monitor your online presence, your financial wealth, and how social you are. The better this all is, then the better your score will be. People then can check these scores, like future employers, etc., and those with better scores will do better in society. Who said that this was a good idea? Like, I understand doing background checks on people, but social media is pretty fake already. This would just give people more of a reason to lie and pretend like their life is perfect. But turns out in China, this is already a thing. They are currently enrolling everyone into a national database and ranking every citizen. Like I said, this is literally like that one episode of Black Mirror, and if you've seen the show, then you know exactly which episode I'm talking about. Moving on to number two, we have the Robocops. Scientists are currently working on creating real life Robocops. These Robocops would be used in dangerous situations where it's unsafe for human cops to enter. So the robot would go in first, scope out the place, and then the human cops would come in after. I mean, already Boston Dynamics created a robot dog, and that thing can open doors on its own and search rooms looking for perpetrators. Maybe the next step is having a full-on robot police force team. Again, this could go wrong for a number of reasons. All we need is for the robots to be hacked or go haywire and start shooting and killing innocent citizens. This is literally the storyline for a horror film about a robot uprising wiping out the entire population. And in our number one spot today, we have the intimate robot buddy. <clears throat> so apparently companies are working on robots that are ultra realistic that will then be used for pleasure. <clears throat> That's right, in the future humans will be getting it on with robot humans. These robots will make it feel like you're doing it with the real thing, if you catch my drift. Not only that, but it will be able to move and bend in a bunch of positions, and it will cater to not only your physical needs, but your emotional needs too. So you can talk to your robot after and cuddle, you get it. Now, this is not only weird, but it's also, it's, it's scary, not gonna lie. First off, imagine if you're getting it on and then someone hacks the robot. Mm. Who knows what the hacker could do? You're alone, you're naked, just say. A lot of things could go wrong there. Or what if the robot malfunctions during it all? Okay, that would be a painful outcome. Or if all of a sudden the robot was like, I don't like being whipped or choked and then comes after you. 
I'm just saying, this could go very, very wrong. Also, they would totally replace human affection, or people would become desensitized. So, it's not gonna end well. Let's just stop. Stop right there. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these inventions is the weirdest. I don't even know. Just talk to me in the comments below. Uh, with that being said, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video Top 10 Mysterious Photographs with No Explanation. Ooh. Santa is a pimp? <laughs> That's the name. Okay, cool. What? You suck. Bring back the ginger British dude back. Okay, cool. That makes sense. His narration is we better, mate. Uh, what are you talking about? I am the British ginger dude. My hair's kind of ginger. It's not, it's not at all. I could do the list with an accent. This is like Australia. I don't know what's going on here. We're just gonna keep going. Sorry, Santa. Andrew Andre is commented, at most amazing top 10, your sense of humor and hilarious comments are a perfect mix with the creepy contents. I like how it's directed at the channel and not at the host, which was me. Um, Cause the channel itself has I, you guys get what, it's me. It's not the, it's me. <laughs> I'm the funny one. <laughs> and Wes Gunton commented, I really take photos. Sometimes I forget to take them while on vacation. That's okay, because you know what I say? I just say, live in the moment. I'm not gonna go around snapping photos of what I'm doing 24 seven. When people do that on social media, I'm like, that's hella cringe. Like, we don't need to know what you're doing, okay? And that your relationship is perfect and that you're so healthy. Like, shut up, okay? Anyway, I just kind of got emotional there, but it's okay if you don't take photos 24 seven because just stay in the moment, live in the present moment, appreciate it. Anyways, all right guys, that's all the comments I'm shout out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you.